So NoCode sent me their GB40 Lithium Jump Starter, and to be honest, I'm not going to be easy on this thing. I'm going to run it through some tough tests, make sure that it can stand up to the pressure that Jeep Solid Garage is going to throw at it. JeepSolid.com All right, let's open it up, see what we got. This GB40 by NOCO is for 12 volts batteries, obviously, up to six liters, and it produces a thousand amps. There's the jump starter. First test will be the drop test. Got some padding. Here's the cables, information packets, charger, cigarette lighter adapter, and a pretty little bag to put it in. Caution, fully charged before use. So straight out of the package here, you can see that it's 25% charged. So first things first, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna take our friendly little USB charger and plug her in. Now the flashing LED here tells us that it's charging. Let me go over a few of its features here. Now it's designed for 12 volt lead acid batteries. And one thing I really like about this little guy is look at the size of it. It is no bigger than my hand. That is a really powerful product to have in a really small package. So here's the little display that tells us the charge level. It's fully charged right now. Here's a LED that lights up if there's an air such as reverse polarity, we'll get to that. This is just another little white LED that tells us it's powered on. This one here lights up when it's hooked up correctly and ready to boost your car, ready for you to jumpstart it. There's a manual override here. Say that the volts on the battery is too low that this can't even detect there's a battery hooked up to it. There's a way to override that. And there's a multi-function flashlight as well. And you can also use it as a nice little emergency power backup for cell phones, anything that'll plug into a USB port. You got yourself an extra battery charger here. All right, let's take a look at the Wrangler. All right, let's check this battery. 12.3 volts, so it's a little low, but not bad. Well, this battery here is not gonna be much of a challenge at all, but I've got one that'll really put it to the test. Over here on the side of my house, I've got this old, dead, discarded battery here. Oh. Let's pull that guy out and try it. So this is an old junk battery that's been sitting outside for months. And just for a good measure, let's see what we got here. Let me see if which side's positive. There's negative. Eight point five volts. This battery is shot. So this battery would be a great test for that NoCo jump starter. So let's go throw this into the Jeep and give it a try. All right, doesn't fit in there perfect, but it'll have to do. Let's double check it. Eight volts, that will not start the Jeep. And just for good measure, there is nothing. Let's try to jump start this baby. All right, we're ready to go. Let's power this thing up. It's 100% charged. We're just gonna uh, hook the jumper cables up here. Now this little guy has a few cool safety features, one of which you can see I'm not too concerned about touching these together. It has an anti-spark safety feature. The other thing, we've got our positive here, negative there. If you hook this guy up wrong, 
Say I take the negative, put it on the positive. It's hooked up backwards right now. You can see it has a little warning light right here and it will not jump start the battery. It's a safety feature, it's shut down. That's really cool, you can't do it wrong. I would trust one of my daughters to do this. So let's just reverse these guys around how they're supposed to be. Put the positive on there, put the negative on here. And now you can see the flashing lights right here, it's ready to go. Little white light is on indicating we're ready to try it. Let's jump start it. All right, that is awesome. I am really impressed with this thing. It took that completely dead battery, eight volts. There is no way that is gonna start any vehicle. This little thing, the size of my hand, I can tell you, I'm gonna start carrying this in my Jeep. I can jump start most any car with just this. It says up to 20 jump starts on one charge. I have to tell you, I am impressed. Thank you, NOCO. I really like your product. I'm gonna start carrying it with me. Thanks for watching, have a good day. And if we plug it into the USB in, then into the cigarette lighter in your vehicle, you can recharge it that way if it's getting low. And the actual cable and clamps, these aren't cheap. These are actually pretty sturdy. And it all fits in this nice little case. That's going in the Jeep.